This is a question from the CCEA uh, Mathematics AS Pure past paper from 2021. And this then is question number five. Um, so let's take a wee look. Below shows a sketch of a curve. So here's a curve here and our straight line. The curve has equation y equals x squared minus 2. The line is equation y equals x. The curve and the line intersect at the points a and b. Find the coordinates of a and b. Obviously in this scenario then we want to put the two equations equal to each other. We're set to y so we're solving it simultaneously. So it's effectively going to be x squared minus 2 equals x. So rearranging this we'd have x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0 and we would factorize this then to solve it for x so two numbers that multiply to give us minus 2 and add to give us minus 1 are going to be minus 2 and 1 that means here we have x equals 2 or x then is minus 1 uh, our other one to find our y coordinates then is y equals x so it doesn't get much more straightforward than that if x is 2, then y is 2, and if x is minus 1, y is minus 1. So our coordinates are 2, 2, and minus 1, minus 1. Um, on to part 2. Hence, so that means using the information we found before, find the area of the shaded region in figure 3, which is bounded by the straight line, the curve, and the y-axis. So here is our straight line, here is our curve, and here is our y-axis. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to integrate between this point here and this point here, which we've actually just worked out, because that's the point minus 1, minus 1. If we integrate and find the area between that curve, that's going to find us this little bit, and then we're going to take away this wee triangle here. All right, so we're going to integrate between 0 and minus 1, because we've just worked out that this coordinate here is minus 1. We've just written it down below, minus 1. So we do the integral of that, and then see if we can get an answer from there. So we're going to integrate between 0 and minus 1. And the curve we are integrating then is x squared minus 2 with respect to x. That gives us add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, so we get x cubed over 3 and then minus 2x and that's between 0 and minus 1. Sub in 0 obviously get 0. Sub in minus 1. Minus 1 cubed gives me minus 1 so that's minus a third and then minus 2 times minus 1 then is plus 2. Um, so that then gives me that's minus minus so minus a third plus 2 gives me 5 over 3 so that equals n minus 5 over 3. That means the area is 5 over 3 for the bit we've just worked out. The negative represents that it was below the x-axis. So let's go back to our diagram and see what we need to do. What we have just found here is this whole area here. So we need to take away this wee triangle. Nothing fancy, just a wee bit of area of mass here. That's 1 and that's 1 and that's a right angle. So let's find our area of our triangle. This triangle looks like that. <laughs> Look at the way we line. That's a one. That's a one. So it's going to be half the base times the height. Base times height gives me one half of that. Then it's going to be a half. Therefore, our shaded area is going to be five over three. Take away a half. And that gives me then, well, we're going to, we're going to put into the 6 as it goes times by 2, 10 over 6 minus 3 over 6. Sorry, I should say 6, obviously. Uh, 10 take away 3, so 7 over 6 units squared. And that's us then for question 5.